Hey, this is Tyler, and welcome to Common Sense Outdoors. Good job, Tyler. Okay, guys, so Tyler was behind the camera in the last two videos making this table. And he told me after we were all done with those two videos that you can't see the tabletop very well from this angle. Nope. So I thought what we'd do is just turn it on real quick, give you a full view around the table and from above so you can see what we ended up with in the finished product. So I'm going to pick you up and go freehand here. Bear with me if I bump you around a little bit. Tyler's trying out the chair. It's very the comfy. table. You got two opinions so, on it. Like I said, we ended up making it L-shaped so that if you're sitting there, like Tyler is, you can set your cup of coffee on that L portion without having to twist around. Whereas you can put the rest of your gear back here on the table and get that stuff off of there so you can see it. The way we uh, did two different methods of lashing all of our tabletop sticks down works out nice. It gives us a little backstop on the back side of the table. I'll give you a close up on the wrap. You see I've just gone over each piece under the support over each piece under the support all the way to the end. Where did you do this one? Oh, uh, that's, that's where I had to tie on a new piece of cordage. Okay. And out here I just lash both sides down. And like I was showing, telling you guys before, we ended up cutting these off. But I left this one, took the bark off of it, and my spool of bank line fits on there real nice. Makes a nice little bank line dispenser. So I'm going to give you a couple more views of this thing. We got our two legs. You got to admit, it looks pretty comfy. Tyler said, in between the last video and this one, that if he was to build this in a survival situation, which this isn't really a survival situation, project unless there was long term bug out type scenario it's more of a bushcraft project but he said if he went through the trouble of building a table like this and then got rescued he'd want to take the table with him <laughs> it's really be like nice. hey cool look what I built but if it was for real I'm sure you wouldn't care what you left behind you'd be so glad to be rescued but anyway, there's a nice little table to go with our chair. I'm sure you'll uh, be seeing it in more videos to come out here. Makes everything more comfortable. Yeah, we'll have to get back out here and put some coffee on and try out our table and... Like maybe camp out here or something. Table and chair. We got the spike rail from our last couple trap videos sitting down there with a baton stick and a rock. Trying to kind of keep things on the downhill side of the trees, just in case the kids have found the last uh, survival camp spot come down this way. I might go back over here and find me a nice dead bush that I can cut off and kind of lay across this stuff so it's not so easy to see in case somebody does come through here. Anyway, there's the finished product, guys. Hope you like it. Let me know. Give me a comment. Uh, if you've got something similar or whatever you want to show me, let me know. I'll go check it out. Till the next video, thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments, your views, your likes, your support, your subscriptions. And we'll see you in the next one. If I'm there. At least I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>